Radio Friends on this Friday, April the 11th. We've got two topics today. So let's start first of all with the Jerry Kiesling. Welcome. Welcome, Paul. Yeah, Jerry is with us from Adult Daycare Connection. And this is a, if you're not familiar with Adult Daycare Connection, it's been in our community for 25 years. And this is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful facility for all of us, right? It is. It started in 1989 as a community university partnership. And we're going to celebrate that on April 24th from 4 to 7. And we want the community come, to come out, see us again, and help us celebrate. For, for some people who may not be aware, explain what the Adult Day Connection is. So we're located in Clark Hall, mm -hmm. and people come to us during the daytime while their family members work or take a day off, and we provide care to them and have lots of activities. And it gives the family a break. It gives the person who comes to us time to have reflection and leisure, and it really is good for everyone. Right, and and it not necessarily a long-term fix. These are people who really do not want to be or do not need to be in a nursing home, but yet they shouldn't be by themselves for a long period of time. That's right. We have a lot of people who are 90 years old or 80 years old and they can't be at home alone. But when the family's with them in the evening and on weekends, they do just fine. And they need that interaction. Right, right. And as far as cost, isn't it on a, a sliding scale as to what people can afford? That's right. And so our daily rate is $84 a day. And we're a Medicaid and VA provider. We also have community donations that help us do scholarships. So if people aren't able to pay the full rate, there is opportunity to pay part of that. Yeah, rate. and this is all in conjunction with the university. That's right. right. So if, if uh, people want to come out and tour the facility, but most of all, just come out and celebrate with you the 25th anniversary. That's right. And that's going to be April the 24th, 25th of uh, anniversary on April the 24th. That's right. Thursday. What day is that? Thursday. Thursday. You should have made it Friday, April 25th. It'd been easier. <laughs> we should that. have. We should have. So Thursday, April the 24th to celebrate the 25th anniversary of um, Adult Daycare Connection, 515, you're going to have a ribbon cutting. That's right. And we're going to acknowledge the community partners that we've had over the years and significant people like Lois Long, who oh, was our first Oh, I remember director. Lois Long. She'd been there forever. Yes. She, kind of, she was the rock of Adult Daycare Connection. And, and she helped bring a lot of people together. Yes. Okay. If folks would like to have more information uh, can they call you? Or? Definitely, and we're at 882-7070, and you can check our website at adcshp.missouri.edu. Are there slots available for folks if they, can you take more people in? Right yes, now? we can. Okay. We're about three-fourths of the way full right now, okay. so we have plenty of openings. And not everybody comes every day. That's right. right. Okay. Some people come two half days a week, and some people are there five days a week, all, all right. day. Jerry, thank you so much thank for you, coming Paul. by. All right, April the 24th uh, at Adult Day Care Connection for the 25th anniversary. That's right. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to introduce you to Dean Leona Rubin. Good to have you here, thank you. Leona. Thank you. And Matt McCune. Matt is a student. Yes, and I am. This is uh, Graduate Education Week. And actually, we're just about at the end of graduate mm -hmm. education week. It ends mm -hmm. tomorrow, right? It ends tomorrow. But what was the purpose of this week? It's, it's a statewide celebration of graduate education. And so the, the governor each year uh, sets forth a proclamation to, to establish it as graduate education week. And there's something like uh, 26 schools, 24 schools across the state of Missouri that celebrate Graduate Education mm -hmm. Week. So what are the, some of the things that happened already this week? Well, we have, um, we have a breakfast celebration where we thank our directors of graduate studies and the administrative contacts in each of the programs for that the work Tuesday, that they right? do. That was Tuesday. How'd that go? It was great. It was okay. great. We had a great turnout and uh, uh, good food, as, yeah. as always. Um, we have some awards that we present to students and to the best advisors, and, and, and they really appreciate that, and the students get to nominate the advisors. And we have a series of seminars for graduate students throughout um, the Graduate Education Week so that they can actually learn more about um, job prospects, how to write grants, how to write resumes. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's a, 
it's a, just a week long celebration. Yeah, and we tomorrow, have a great time. tomorrow is the the grand finale, it's and that's grand where finale. Matt McCune comes in. So, what's going on tomorrow, Matt? Well, what we have is we have a. 30 or 40 booths with graduate students. And what they do is they present their research. So they have hands-on activities for people, um, K through six students, and they come in and, and we get them curious about science. We get them asking questions, questions like, uh, how does your research benefit me? So it's not only benefiting the students to get them interested, but they also benefit the school by saying, mm -hmm. this is what we do and this is how it has value to you. What do you find the most important part of that? The fun part. I mean, students come and they play with toys and they think that okay, science give is... Me a, give me an example. And a good example is we have a leaf blower and people are like, well, what does leaf blower do? Well, it blows things away. Well, what happens when you put a beach ball in front of a leaf blower? Well, it actually traps the ball there. And you can actually spin all the way around in 360 degrees. What? And yeah, and it will trap the you're, ball and it follows me. the leaf blower around. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's our great, the one thing that gets everybody to the physics booth. So the leaf blower does not blow the beach ball away? It actually provides lift so the ball stays up, and at the same time it creates a pressure vacuum in front of the leaf blower to hold the ball there. I can show this to you. It's a wonderful <laughs> thing. I can imagine, that, and, and you demonstrate that. Yes, yeah, we have that every year. It's one of our big draws. Oh, my. I wish you'd have brought that leaf blower and beach ball with us today. <laughs> I wish I did. But uh, it, 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 who all is invited to come to this? Uh, we have entire families can come. I mean, some of the so greatest. So it's open to the community. Oh, yes. It's free. It's open to the community. We have free ice cream for the first 500 mm -hmm. kids that come. Uh, TJ is going to be there to get pictures with the kids. It's a great event. Okay. And what time and where? It's tomorrow from uh, 10 to 2 p.m. 10 to 2 p.m. At Jesse where? Hall. So at Jesse yeah. Hall. Tomorrow from 10 to 2 p.m. Everybody is invited. You don't need to make reservations. No, you just, just show come up. on in and, and come how, talk to us. How many people do you think will be there? Uh, we usually have 700 kids, but they mm -hmm. usually bring their older siblings and their parents, so it's over 1,000 people total. And where will the leaf blower demonstration be? <laughs> it will on? be at the entrance to Jesse uh, Auditorium. On, on the inside? Yes, inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's worth coming out to see. It is. So you're saying, and anybody can try this at home? Yes, they can try it at home. I'm sure if you got on YouTube and, and Searched for it, you would so find it there So you just also. get the leaf blower, you turn it on, you put a, a beach ball You put ball the beach ball out there, and it just it, it sucks it in. It keeps it right in front of it. Now, it's about five or six feet away, okay. but it's there. You got it. All right. <laughs> We're out of time for today. So you come out tomorrow. Thank you both for coming by. It's oh, our thank pleasure. You. Uh, Monday. We're going to talk about the uh, End of Life uh, Coalition and Advanced Care Planning. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Rachel Gangwear. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. If you'd like to see this or again or watch it or listen to it, uh, kbia.org. Click on Talk Show and Radio Friend. Bye-bye.